Hi, welcome back to Focal Point AAFR Talk. Number to call if you'd like to join the program, 888-589-8840 is the number to call, 888-589-8840. You know, Tim's showing me this prayer book that his uh, organization, the Samaritan Foundation.org, has prepared, and it's got a picture of 50,000 Muslims on their faces before Allah in front of the U.S. Uh, Capitol back in September of 2009, and they're out there. It's a spiritual warfare, ladies and gentlemen, because these Muslims are there on their faces calling out upon Allah to claim America for him and for Islam. And their goal is to have the flag of Islam flying above the Capitol and flying above uh, the White House. And so with Tim Comer and SamaritanFoundation.org providing as a way to uh, strike back in our spiritual warfare, not physically, but with the weapons of our warfare, which Paul says are not carnal, they're not of the flesh, but they are divinely powerful for the pulling down of strongholds. Number to call, 888-589-8840, 888 is the number to call. You know, we've had a lot of hype from the Obama administration on the uh, sequester. You know, we, we were told it was going to be gloom and doom. It was going to be the Mayan uh, apocalypse. And in, instead, what's happened is that the Obama administration obviously is trying to make these cuts as painful as possible. In fact, we uh, had a story from a park ranger. I didn't have a chance to get to it yesterday. But he was told by the Obama administration, however you administer these sequester cuts, we want you to make them hurt. We want people to feel the pain of these sequester cuts, whether it's necessary or not. We want them to feel it. Uh, that's why they cut out the White House here. There's no need for that. Seventy-four grand a month, that's chump change for um, Barack Obama. He's paying his calligrapher uh, almost $100,000 a year. Three of them he's paying $277,000 uh, a year to write stuff in calligraphy uh, in the White House. So uh, there, there's obviously a lot of hype going on with the uh, sequester. And another uh, issue that has surfaced is that while the sequester is going on, the government is advertising, the federal government is advertising 2,600 new jobs. I mean, this is since the sequester started. All we were hearing about is this is going to, people are going to be laid off and we're losing border patrol people and we're going to have these monster lines. The TSA is going to be understaffed and you're going to have to wait for hours to get on your plane. It's going to be, it, 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 it's going to be the end of the world. It's the Mayan apocalypse. Well, at the same time, they're telling us we're going to have to lay people off. We're going to have to furlough them. We're going to have to cut them. It's going to be grim. At the very same time, they are trying to hire 2,600 people. They've advertised for 2,596 jobs over the last 10 days. This includes 107 positions. This is Bridget Johnson on PJ Media, 107 positions at the Department of Homeland Security. So they're hiring, they want to hire 107 people at DHS. This is the department we were told it's going to be horrible. We're going to have illegal immigrants and we're going to have terrorists flooding across our southern border because we got to furlough all these border patrol agents and we're going to have we're going to have waiting lines that are going to stretch into hours at airports because we've got to furlough so many tsa people and their traffic control it's at the same time they're telling us that they're out there trying to hire 107 uh new uh people now um You've got the jobs that they're advertising for. Listen to this. They're laying off Border Patrol, furloughing Border Patrol, furloughing uh, TSA people. They're trying to hire a library technician in Baltimore. Listen to this. A recreational boating safety specialist in Cleveland. Uh, the Agriculture Department is out there advertising for 115 positions in the Agriculture Department. Remember, they were telling us, look, because of furloughs in the agriculture department, you're going to have tainted food. Your beef's going to go bad. You're going to be eating slime. They're out there hiring, trying to hire 115 people, meaning all of those furloughs, it's just bilge. It's just swill. It's nothing but but hot air from the high priests of Hogwash uh, Hill. 
these uh, agriculture department looking for soil technicians, a recreation forestry. What in the world is that? A recreation forestry technician. What does that even mean? They're looking for a dairy grader in Winsboro, Texas, an archaeologist in McCall, Idaho. I've vacationed in McCall, Idaho. They do not need an archaeologist in McCall, Idaho. Trust me on this. I have been there many, many times uh, in my life. And Department of Veterans Affairs. Remember, they're telling us about homeless vets going to be kicked out in the street. They're hiring 909 people at the Veterans Department. They're trying to hire 115 new jobs for in the, in the Interior Department for, to work with the Indian tribes. Uh, they're wanting to hire park guides, museum aides, plant technicians, whatever that means. I guess you go around plant flowers. And um, they're looking for a six-figure uh, IT specialist at the Railroad Retirement Board. Listen to this, an exhibition aide for the National Gallery of Art. So they're telling us, hey, we don't have enough people to provide security at airports. We don't have enough people to secure the southern border, but we do have enough money to hire an exhibition aide for the National Gallery of Art. They're also looking for an Albanian language broadcaster. They're looking for an Albanian language broadcaster. you got to wait three hours to get on a plane because we're going to make it hurt. But at the same time, we're ready to hire an Albanian language broadcaster. And then somebody called a space assignment technician at the National Archives. A space assignment technician. What even does that mean? Uh, so, uh, you know, Tom Coburn said, look, you look at the average salary for a government employee, it's 76 grand. I think a lot of you in this listening audience would be happy to work for those kind of wages. This means the Coburn says this, the average new hire equates to a one week furlough for 52 current government employees. In other words, Coburn is saying, just don't hire these people. And you wouldn't have to furlough 52 current employees. Everybody you don't hire, that's 52 current government employees that don't have to get uh, furloughed. In fact, uh, Coburn found on this list of job openings that 23 of them, 23 of them had recreation in the job title. And he says, look, they're looking for a librarian, a librarian at the U United States Department of Agriculture, looking for a librarian there says, just don't hire that guy, and you could, wouldn't have to furlough 104 to 156 food inspectors. You're worried about food going bad because it, just don't hire the librarian, and you wouldn't have to furlough anywhere from 104 to 156 food uh, inspectors. And, you know, the point here is that all the sequester hype is not working. Here's George Stephanopoulos, clip number one. George Stephanopoulos, look, Basically, and ABC has been leading the hype charge here. They've been out in front of the pack trying to panic us that this is the end of civilization as we know it. Here's Stephanopoulos this morning. So, George, what do you make of this change in strategy on the president's part, going from basically not communicating with Republican leaders at all to whining and dining them? Will yeah, this get him the grand bargain he's Well, wanted? we'll see. It's going to take some time. I think it was motivated by two things. Number one, the outside game, at least in the short term, wasn't working for the president was trying to raise all these alarms about the sequester but it didn't seem to be taking hold because people haven't felt it yet and number two now that the sequester actually has kicked in there's no other option but to try to build these relationships and see what can come of it so that's george stephanopoulos total abject failure people aren't buying it it's not working this whole threat about vaporizing everything being vaporized the economy being vaporized jobs being vaporized tainted meat uh, all of that. None of it has come true. Not People aren't worried about it. N nobody is scared. So he's admitted it just simply has not worked. Let's go to George in Jefferson County, Missouri. George, welcome to Focal Point. What's on your mind? Hey, Brian. Thanks for being there for us. You bet. I was just, uh, Tim Wyman was talking about uh, this morning. He was uh, saying that, oh, the, the lowest farm of uh, Obamacare would cost you 7000 for four for family for it be like over 20000 well, I know what the bottom line is of Obama's administration. They don't like us, like I said before, and they're first going to rob us, completely clean out the white people, and then they're going to exterminate us. So I would suggest... Now, now let, let's back up a second. So you, you think there's going to be a, a campaign to wipe out white people? 
You think he likes us? He just hates us. Well, no, I, I believe. Been a black I, no, I, I, all, for quite a few years. Yeah. Well, well, George, well, let me let me put it this way. I, I believe that that Barack Obama believes basically in his heart of hearts. He believes that every white person is a racist. And it's interesting, by the way, George. The Congressional Black Caucus is all over his case because he has nominated fewer blacks to cabinet positions than any other black president in the last any other president in the last 38 years. Now, the the uh, race activists are, are 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 what they say is, hey, look, we can tell you're a racist just by the number of white people you've got working for you. Well, here is President Obama. He's had fewer black cabinet people than any president in 38 years. According to Janine Garofalo, that would make him a racist straight up. Now, I believe President Obama believes that we're racist. He believes the United States is a racist country. I do not believe that there's going to be some kind of program to exterminate uh, the white race. Let's go to Robert in Gritsland, North Carolina. Robert, you're on Focal Point. What's on your mind? Got about 45 seconds. Uh, I, a quick on the abortion thing. I don't know if you know, read it before, but in a book by Barnabas, Paul's companion on chapter 14 and verse 11, and it's, this is to do with abortion, says, Thou shalt not destroy thy conceptions before they are brought forth, nor kill them after they are born. Hmm. So I know the Bible itself, what, you know, the canon don't address that issue. Not I specifically. I I heard you talking about yeah. it earlier, some of it. Well, that's a good word, Robert. I appreciate that because that comes from a very, very early Christian document. Whether Barnabas himself was the author of that, it's obviously a document that goes back to the early days of the church. And by the way, a lot of people don't know this, but it's a specific thing in the Hippocratic Oath. When doctors take the Hippocratic Oath, they specifically reject giving in a, any woman an abortifacient. So the Hippocratic Oath goes back before the time of Jesus, so abortion has been something that's been done for thousands of years. And the Hippocratic Oath, the medical doctor that takes that oath, says, I will not participate in an abortion. Focal Point AFR Talk, back after the news.